All right, yesterday was Lyman Appreciation Day, and the Lyman at NB Energy were up all night. Not celebrating, but working, working hard to restore the power to more than 40,000 customers left in the dark after that storm on Monday. I caught up with a couple crews on the job. So the three most popular ways we lose power here in the valley are cars hitting the equipment, mylar balloons, believe it or not, getting wrapped around the wires, and of course, Mother Nature, which we experienced on Monday night. I'm here with Ishmael Sanchez from NV Energy. First of all, this is a pretty good day to be celebrating <laughs> Lyman Appreciation Day. Yes, Courtney, our teams love doing this work. This is their profession, and this is what they live for. And I'm sure people love seeing you come into their neighborhood because they know the power is about to come back on when you guys roll in here. So on Monday, we had that storm whip through here. 60 mile an hour winds, I'm told. What do you guys do? What is the plan that you have set up? The first thing we do, Courtney, is we, we actually assess the damage that's out there. So we have first responders that we have on property and we utilize the crews that we have on property as well. Now, if the damage exceeds the crews that we have available, then we do call out crews to come help repair. And you always have crews on standby. I mean, this is something that it's, it's always ready for. Yes, yes, that's what they live for, Courtney. And you mentioned first responders. I mean, when it comes to storms and power outages, you guys really are our first responders. So what's the priority? I mean, do you have priorities when you go to restore the power? Yes, we do, Courtney. Our priority is our emergency facilities, which mm -hmm. is going to be our hospitals. And after that, we do prioritize by the number of customers that we can restore. Gotcha. So if one fix can fix more customers, that's the one you're going to do first? That's what we concentrate on, yes. Carl. All right, so what are the guys behind us doing? Well, right here we have a pole that actually burned, the top of the pole burned oh, out. Geez. So right now we're actually repairing that pole and we'll schedule that for repair in the future. Behind me we actually have a pole, uh, a cross arm uh -huh. that it actually split. Oh. So right now our lineman is up there and he's going to repair that cross arm. We're actually going to replace it. So we're not going to repair it. We'll replace it right now so we can get the customers back in power. So what causes something like that? Is it Was it hit by lightning or is it just a power surge? Most likely the pole that, 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 we, that got burned at the top, it most likely it was hit. It was hit oh, by lightning. Wow. Okay. And I know that some of these crews have been working all night. I mean, you guys have been up for a long time. Yes. The most important thing that we're trying to do is get people back in power. We know this is an inconvenience, but we're trying to work as expeditious and safe as we can to get people back in. How extensive was the damage from this storm? It, it was pretty extensive. Um, we had over 40, again, mentioning we had over 40,000 customers that were out, and the storm hit real quick, and it hit pretty, it hit pretty uh, rough. The most important thing is to get your power back and get, a, get, get it done safely. That's right. And of course, we want to thank NV Energy for being one of our community pride partners.